DBT is an integrated development environment for EN System Verilog, implemented as a plugin on top of the Eclipse platform. During this presentation, we'll go quickly over the main e-language features. If you go with the mouse over various entities, tooltips pop up. Tooltips present comments extracted from the source code. Practically, they turn comments into handy inline documentation. If the tooltip is not enough to understand, for example, the purpose of a method call, you can use hyperlinks to navigate around in the code. If you look for a specific struct, use the quick types view. Type in a filter and select the relevant struct. If you want to browse the extensions of a struct or method, use the layers view. We see seven extensions in five files, some of them with comments. Double-click to jump to the source code of a specific extension. To see the inheritance tree and the members of a struct, use the hierarchy view. You can see all or only the public members, including the ones from the parents. You can use semantic search to look for a method, field or other entities. Type in a pattern, select method and search. You'll get precise matches of declarations, unlike a plain text gap. If you want to see where a specific method is used, search for references. You can do the same for fields, events or variables. As you can see, there are two places where drive read write is called. Errors, both syntactic and semantic, are signaled as you type. All the errors are collected in the Problems view. Double-click to jump to the source of the error. While editing, you can use Autocomplete. For task tracking, you can use to do markers in comments. All the to-dos are presented in the tasks view. In addition to auto indent, at any time you can format the source code. Using the types view, you can browse through all the structures in your environment. Double click to jump to the source. You can browse the unit instance tree in the instance tree view. In the macros view, you can browse through preprocessing define as or define as computed macros. The output from the simulator invocation is shown in the console view. Error patterns are detected and turned into hyperlinks to source code. And finally, you can export the HTML documentation of your environment. It includes preprocessing and define as macros, enumeration types, structs, units and sequences. Assuming you have comments in your code, they become descriptions of your API.
The next step is to evaluate the video on your own projects. For more information, please visit our website.